here we are mounted to the well, test bench. Uh, things are going so great. As you can see, I have rubber everywhere. I'll fire it up and show you what I mean. Well, that's not good. After some time looking around, measuring some stuff, I realized that I, since I have the bearings mounted on the outer housings, with all this force twisting it from the belt, it's squishing the TPU and causing the housing to deflect into the impeller. So I'm going to take these out and I'm going to print them out a solid BETG and silicone them in there. Alright, back together. Got rid of the TPU seals. Just went with solid spacers. Now, it still rubs a little bit. But I kind of figured out the issue and I'm not going to do anything about it right now. Just going to send it and see what happens. Set up to do about 6,000 RPM. Got the old safety glasses on. Can't see what I'm doing and plug this in at the same time. Alright, so it turns out um, it really grabbed hard. So I'm going to see if I can. This is probably not going to work too well. I'm going to end up having to redo this. It's okay, I didn't really like it anyways. Oh, yeah, she's seized in there good. Alright, it's coming apart again, I guess. Alright, we're apart, and I still can't get this off. Wow, yeah, she really welded on there. All right, just hoping I can save the housing. I don't want to reprint this if I can avoid it. It's a kind of a waste if I had to. All right. Oh yeah, something's not good. because I'm probably just gonna lose it anyways yeah I get some like clear separation there and some welding although it's not too bad should be all right Okay, so now, oh wow, yeah, that's pushed anyways. That vibrate like 10. Okay, so the real reason why this ended up working is this is the side that spun. And this fits all messed up, so I'm going to reprint this a little tighter. I might end up doing both of them and taking the whole thing apart again, because I think the other one... Actually, it's not too bad. I'll just do the one for now and see how it goes. All right, got the new rotor on. It seems to spin a lot better. She does rub a little bit in one spot, but I threw a little bit of oil on the intake just to see how it goes. And I'm gonna find the safety glasses. All right, glasses on, ready to plug in. Let's see what happens. So it seems to work all right. No, well, a little bit of rubbing, but no catastrophic failure. So I dug out the flow meter. We're going to see how that works. 6,000 RPM flow test. All right, now we're going to do the boost test at 6,000 RPM. 
I'm using the gauge I don't like as much because I'm an idiot and I put the other one somewhere and it's in the void with all the rest of the stuff I can't find. Anyways, here we go. 6,000 RPM boost test. Now I've switched to the 9,000 RPM pulley which used to be blue but I killed it playing around at the beginning so it ended up in a couple pieces apparently the rubber will cut right through the PETG however we're gonna do the flow meter test and the pressure test and see what we get oh first time at 9000 rpm testing flow rates And now for the 9,000 RPM pressure test. That's about where I'm going to leave you guys with this project for now. Uh, I got a couple other things in mind. If you've seen my other video, the teardown of the little two stroke there, you might know what's going on. I do plan on putting this on an engine, either this one or another supercharger, but one way or the other, I'm going to put a 3D printed supercharger on an engine. It may be an engine that I have built and designed to my own, it might be something else, but I'd really like it to be my own engine. At any rate, that's going to be it for now. Hope you liked. If you did, hit like. If you liked it even more, hit subscribe. And we'll be back with more. Thank you.